Hi guys, welcome to the solo run of Lake of Shadows. This is the 100k run on my wall, my Warlock. I'm using, obviously, Well of Radiance. I'm using Bygones, Borealis, and Hammerhead. Uh, Luna Factions, obviously, uh, for the Well. I mean, the modifiers are, we've gone with 110 uh, score uh, power handicap. Uh, heavyweight. Momentum, Void Burn, and Match Game, which gives us the the appropriate score modifier that we need to reach this. Because Lake of Shadows doesn't, you can't really get. Well, I've never been able to get a massive score on it solo. Uh, just doesn't seem to be the level of yellow bar ads and powerful ads that you need to actually get that score. And I think the rotation of enemies I got on this run wasn't the best, so. But we got there, 130,000. Uh, the Nightfall specific reward is the Malicious Birthright, which is the primary grenade launcher. Pretty good for anybody that likes to play a lot of Crucible, I would think. So right off the bat, we're going to start. We're going to we're going to preempt that. You know, the the first shield you come up against. This is where, why I've changed the Borealis's damage. Will either be a major shank, uh, which will be solo shielded. But we're going to kind of, this is my second attempt at this. And the first time I got Arc Shielded Cabal. So I've changed it to an Arc Weapon just in case. The Bygones I'm using is, is a pretty good Bygones, if I'm being honest. It's, uh, I'm just thinking there. Just to, just, to, just to recap on something I think I said. I'm not using Momentum. I'm using Extinguish. Because there aren't many parts in this nightfall where you uh, you need to run and survive while you're running. So I decided to change it. If you go with, there was a 585, 5.85 score modifier. If you go with momentum, that drops it to 5.7. It's, it's only 0.15, but it's, it's 0.15. So I kind of figured with the Warlock, with having the... With having the rift, I had the ability to 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 heal myself if I needed. So I haven't went with momentum. It's 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 a really good perk. It's a really good thing to use, but it's it's not needed for every nightfall. And this this proves it. So I came in here. There were a couple of arcs shielded. I've changed it. I will change it because the next time we're going to need a solar for the captains in this next part. So you, when you do this, you've got once you've done that, you're gonna have three snipers before you get to any ads. So you're gonna have one normal one, and one hobgoblin. Then you're gonna have, as you can see, I'm changing it. I'm cycling it round to get to solar. You're gonna have one at the top here, which is a major one. Now some of them I don't snipe. Some of them I try and take with the bygones. Uh, my bygones, I think, has got rampage on it, so it's 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 pretty good. So there's three. That one, he normally goes up and stands next to the blight. Uh, so actually this time I've got four. Because there's one behind those trees. A friend of mine was speaking about aim assist. You've probably seen it in the video there. I, I don't mind aim assist, but I'd like the ability to turn it off. Because there's plenty of times I, I, I zero in on an opponent. And then on add. And someone will run across my screen and my sight goes all over the place. So I would like to be able to take aim assist off. I know it's maybe asking a little bit too much. Uh, I'm Again, not being a publisher, not being a developer or, you know, having any professional experience within gaming. I don't know how easy that, that actually would be. I've said this before in videos and I'm going to reiterate it. I really hate the fact that the taken hides so much. I mean, they really, really, really hide. I done a Shattered Throne today. Uh, I needed to do one. I ended up doing all characters because I just, I need the ship. I only need a couple of things for Curse Breaker now and the ship's one of them. And I, I have come up with a different method of doing the Shattered Throne, which is pretty easy. It makes it pretty simple, but you, you it's, it's, it is different to the guide I made back when the Shattered Throne first came out, because 
the tea can just run and hide. The minute you do any damage to a wizard, they're off. And I, I've had it that I've ran out of time where they've hid. So as you, and the reason I bring this up is this this last sniper. He's just out of range. As you can see, he's I've got to take. The reason I'm looking from now is because obviously I'm going to drop this blight, and then he's going to have a you know clear line of sight. So as soon as you drop it, straight onto him. Yeah, the reason I'm bringing it up is you could see that hobgoblin that I was shooting at before. He just kept moving just slightly to the side whenever I got a, you know uh, a decent aim on him, and it irritates me that ads do that. You know, but as much as I wish they didn't, I don't want them to just stand in front of me and say, "Yep, yeah, on you go, just shoot me." You know, but it's only the Taken that seem to do it. I went back to Destiny One. Uh, I uh, not to play for anything specific, but my son has started playing Destiny One, and there was a couple of things he couldn't do in the game, so I I ventured back into D One, and actually. I'll, I'll, and it's 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 true. The Taken done it in D one as well. And they they had quite a lot in D one, so this is insane. Look at the amount of take <laughs> taken blasts I'm having to deal with here. I hate the Taken. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, I'm hesitantly moving forward because the Taken really can. They really can kind of mess up a good run. As soon as you take one of the shields down, don't give them a chance to put the shield back up. Just switch straight away to your heavy. The minute you see that blast, switch switch to your heavy and take take them out. If you've got heavy ammo finder, I think I've got two on. Might might just be one, but you'll drop you'll you'll get your heavy back. There we go, and that's them all down. We've got a couple of bricks of heavy, so we're good. We're good for for heavy here. I'll, I've changed my sniper to arc because the cabal that's coming out now is arc, so we can take his shield down, melt him, melt him with the the hammerhead. The boss, the boss on this is is really simple using the hammerhead. A lot simpler than it was the first time I'd done it. Maybe it was just I've got more experience of doing it. I don't. I don't know. I don't think that plays into it. Maybe I just knew what to expect more. But uh, yeah, I I expected the thun the the hammerhead to struggle a bit more with the boss, but no, he didn't. I said I've done another. I've put a high score run up right now. Uh, the high score run I've put up is Lake of, Sha uh, Lake of Shadows. That's not it because that's this one. As well of well of the thousands. I've done it on the Warlock. As I said on that video, I'll be re I'll be doing an, a high score Nightfall solo on each character. So every night, every all the Nightfalls will have three runs for them. So a Titan, Warlock, Hunter, and I noticed I've done like ninety five percent of my runs on a Hunter. So I've done these two. I will do a Garden World as well, just just to get that up. And I'll, I'm actually going to showcase. When I do a, when I do the Garden World, I got quite a uh, secret drop, rare drop, rare drops probably the best way to put it. I got the a rare drop from Scourge of the Past. Uh, I got the Exotic Spiral, which is can only drop if you get the secret chest from the Spiral Race. Uh, so I'll 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 show that off. I'll, I'll show that off in that video. It's quite cool. Ads don't aggro you as much when you're on your Spiral. It looks like a black armory. It's got the black armory effect to it. It's pretty cool. And as I say, you can only get it from when you're in Scourge. You've got to access the eight buttons, which opens up a chest at the end. And you've got a chance to get it from the chest. So I was very lucky to get it from the, the raid I was doing it with. Do, uh, doing And the people I was doing the raid with, if I'm correct, and I know some of them will see this, I think... They, <laughs> I think they pointed out I might be the only one of them to have it. Although I don't feel too bad because they've all got a thousand voices or anarchy and I, I haven't got any of them yet. And I really do want those because I would love to do a comparison video between the raid exotics to see now that now that uh, Acrius has had a buff, I'm probably going to try and use it in a run just to see how 
how potent it's became. So in that section we just done, there's levels, as you can see, because we're doing, this one has more fallen, which is, it's, it's not really bad, but I find the fallen yield less points. When you do the fallen version, you don't get as many points, and you've got this ship that is super annoying. Uh, so when 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 you're coming down those levels, uh, when you're coming down those levels, if it's the fallen, you're going to have a servitor, so just use use the hammerhead, and then you're going to have captains captains and then at some point not 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 right now but further on we're going to have a taken captain with an arc shield which normally we won't have to deal with if it's the taken it will always be solar shields for those guys so as you can see i'm trying to turn around and get a bead i'm getting hit so instead of getting hit and i can't run away and get my health back just rift you want empowering rift uh healing rift sorry and we're hoping for as many of these to come out as possible. And that's just less for us to deal with when we go around. So let the ship move forward. Once you clear a wave of ads, the ship will move forward. And if you push forward a little bit, they will push the, the ship will move forward. But where it is now, that's its final position. So just be aware that's where it stops. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and snipe the knight from here. And the night's gone. So take these two ads. I think there might be a sniper or two when we get across here. Maybe not. And that's that section done. We're in eighty-eight thousand. So again, it's taken it's fallen. So a couple of these guys. And then we're up on the levels. So as you can see, we can snipe this guy. And that's, well, that's one less ad for us to deal with. The, mo the most dangerous ads in this level, the most problematic are the, are the hobgoblins. Because you can, you, can, you can deal with the knights with two shots. But the hobgoblins can stop you in your tracks from dealing with them because they're the ones that shield. If you look up to the right up, I don't think I'd do it here, I'll do it, yep. You can see the ads up top and it, it was when I aimed up that I, th I realized that this is the take it, the fallen version. There won't be a, a solar captain up there. Up on that third one, it will be, up on that third level, it will be a fallen arc shielded captain that's who we'll have to put up with up there and that's that's a clear run up so just make sure as in with this whole strike as you can see me changing damage to arc it does go void uh, solar arc and I can't explain to you why there was no captain there I think he might have been killed by the other ads, but there's if you do the take the fallen version, which is you'll know if it's the fallen version because when you're coming down the first three, the first kind of layers where there's solar captains before you go outside, there'll be a servitor there, and that kind of denotes that this is the the fallen version of this strike, but the ads must have killed him. So once you've took those ads out there, just turn, take the knight out. What that does is it stops you taking fire from the right-hand side. And it stops you being constantly pestered by Shadow Thrall. And now we're moving up. There isn't much to, there isn't many ads left. Fallen version, so you're going to have Shanks in this next room. And then uh, when we go upwards, we're going to have some, some Vandals. It's just, it's it's the same amount of ads, but when you do the, the, the taken version, I just think there's more yellow bar. And this, we're going to have uh, fallen here, so 
make sure you just just be careful because when you've put max modifier on as i'm sure that you guys are all aware you do tons more points but you're more vulnerable to damage I hate fallen vandals. I hate everything that ducks and dives. <laughs> Some of them are supposed to. They're not. I'm just supposed to stand there and take a couple of shots in the face. And basically, that's us. We're, we're at the boss now. If you were in with a team and you were, you know, if I was doing what I call a spectacle video, where I was going for the highest score I could go, I would just whittle his health down take out the wave of ads, Whitley's health down, take out the wave of ads, but I'm not, I'm showing you guys how to get, or try, trying to show you guys how to successfully get a solo high score. And it's not just about solo high scores, it's also about how to, how to successfully negotiate difficult uh, activities on your own. It goes, it goes further than just playing as a solo player. It's how to take care of yourself in these things. Make sure you're doing the right thing. Make sure you're set up right. All these things. If you learn the different tactics, the different little tweaks that players like me use, it will help you in a lot of PvE activities. So we've come over here. I'm not putting my well down just yet. So as you can see, the minute the ads come, I'm putting the well down. The reason I do that is... Because I don't want, I want the 30 seconds in the well to count, you know. I don't want to be like the last 5-10 seconds uh, to be unwelled. So you get a couple of seconds at the end, as you'll see. Just take out, take out ads. I'm still getting points. Now they're gone. Just make sure you take out those last couple. And there we go. Solo 100k on the Warlock. I hope it looked straightforward. It was pretty straightforward. And I hope you guys are inspired to go and try it yourself. I hope you enjoyed the run. As always, I always appreciate all you, all you guys. Thank you very much for spending time watching my video. And I will see you guys in the next one.